so rookie camp so again uh this is the true signal that the season is upon us guys really exciting stuff so um so i believe it's september 14th is the day that rookie camp actually launches right so that's going to be exciting uh we talked a little bit about kind of the fact that <clears throat> there's so many forwards in montreal um for this year so yeah september 14th is the first day of camp but then the rookie tournament which is in buffalo is the 15th and the 18th uh and then uh, so you've got three games all i i don't think we we uh have learned whether they're going to be streamed <clears throat> but i imagine they're all going to be available online did we learn that yet coach is it going to be online uh, or, no. LDS, probably? i did not know about if they will be or not uh, the the when cut can aim uh, Kat Kanemi's first year, they were streamed online. And yeah, I, yeah. Expect, I fully expect yeah, they will right. stream them. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I make a mistake here. Usually, because I did now you just open the door, Kevin. Last year, because I, I was in Florida, I watched every game on the the team. Usually put this on the website um, when they, they play. So possible Montreal used this you know, that direction on this one over there, they like streaming their game. So I think that's, if I can recall it, because yeah. I know Flutter did it, <clears> and I, that's what I remember, but um, I don't yeah. know. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Like, well, they'll, they usually announce it on social media, but follow, <clears throat> you know, we'll be able to f flash uh, Karin's, uh, how you can uh, follow her on Twitter and Instagram, but Karin's always on top of this stuff, always a great person to follow on Twitter, always sharing kind of the most recent stuff of where you can find things. So really helpful there. <clears throat> so that'll be exciting guys. We'll get to see our rookies uh, in action. Again, what makes this rookie camp a bit different from other years because of the log jam uh, with all the roster and everything, are there really spots available? You know, that usually that's what makes a rookie camp interesting. You have these storylines where you have a surprise guy that's forcing management's hand to, you know, make a move so they can they can play them. Other than Slavkovsky, which we've already talked about, is likely to start the season and will force their hand. Any other players in, really kind of have a shot in rookie camp to make the, the big club? Well, while there is congestion up front, uh, we're going to have heck of a blue line battle on our hands because there's not that many uh, veteran guys on the blue line anymore. So you're going to have Jordan Harris, Justin Barron, um, you know, who's going to be playing full-time there? And you've got uh, Chekai as well, who's like an outside yeah. track runner that, that's looking good too to make the team. So <clears throat> that's going to be interesting. That's what's going to be most interesting about uh, Rookie Camp, watching those young defensemen and see who can, you know, get the spotlight. Um, up front, you know, we've spoken about Slavkovsky. I think what's going to be interesting from that angle is to see how we can adapt to the uh, North American ice side, size, really, because when KK first started, he was noticeably too slow for those forced first yeah. uh, few stream games. It was like, oh, God, yeah, okay. And well, his balance, like his balance was just terrible. Couldn't yeah, stay on his but skate. Slavkovsky, Slavkovsky is going to have that same adaptation, adaptation to do. And I went to see um, some... Um, Sisu three on three hockey this summer, and he was there for uh, the last week. And I don't know if yeah. you've been at hockey, etc., etc., <laughs> but the rink is really small. It's made for three on three hockey, so there wasn't a lot of space. There wasn't a lot of you know time to think and react. And he looked pretty good out there to me. So I'm I'm looking forward to see what he can do on North American ice for sure. But yeah, my well, my eyes are going to be on the blue line more than anything else, really. Coach, maybe explain to us like. Um... When we say rookie camp, is there an age cutoff? Like, <clears throat> how do they decide which players are in the rookie camp versus the main camp? Yeah, usually you cannot go over three years after that. So um, that's eliminate a couple of players. So you have to do the first two years, and then after that, it's you out, age out, or not age out, but you cannot usually come in back, at least you're an exception. So that's really how this works for the rookie camp. Um, at least have, I'm wrong here, but I think that's what's happening all the time. And then for me, for the, like Kevin, she nailed it. Like defensively, I think uh, Kaden Coley is maybe one I'm looking for for the upcoming rookie camp. I think him, the, so maybe his injury put him behind a little bit, but I still believe he's going to be the really the one I want. I really trust him more like 
compared yeah. to Jordan Harris and jo Justin Barron. <clears throat> still not sure he would be ready for upcoming. I still he will do it. He will play his first nine game with Montreal Canadian go from there. But this kid is unbelievably amazing. I watched him all year la last year with uh, when he got trade after to the Edmonton uh, and Edmonton, he have his yeah. Memorial Cup was amazing. He have eight goals in the playoff, like 25 point 27 game. And it's something we never know about him, his offensive side of his game. So it'll be interesting about him. Otherwise, self-escape. But I want to see other. It's sad we don't see the player like Lane Hudson or Sean Farrell because they're on the NCAA. But we have other players like Mazar. Uh, I know one I'm going to follow up him on the OHL because uh, it will be his first year in the North America. But it's fun. Six teams in the NHL is going to be there all week uh, in Buffalo. And uh, Montreal will be one of the part of this uh, team. And then uh, we'll see what happening with Safka. He'll give us a little bit what Gerard can start for the upcoming year.